Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine and we're just going to talk and do a little chit chat, get ready with me. So let's get into it. So I bought this yesterday. It's rose water. Well, my mom bought it for me. And I've been wanting to try this out. So let me see. So you're supposed to like, it's supposed, you're supposed to apply to your skin and hair to refresh and tone your face or set your makeup. So I'm going to, oh, and for hydration of the skin. So I'm going to do it before. Yeah. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hopefully, maybe if I use this all, I could get a bigger one. But this is so cute. Um, so my makeup routine is very small. I, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. But makeup hack for you girls or you girls or guys, I don't know. Um, so I got this for Christmas. Like this tiny little Anastasia Beverly Hills clear gel for your brows. And I ran out of it and I just filled it up with aloe vera gel and I, that's what I've been using for my eyebrows and it's so nice like it's just a little easy like to set your brows and it's just to make them like you know just like brow gel but it's aloe vera gel and it's so much better for your skin who knows what kind of chemicals are in this product so that's what I've been doing and I actually really like it I'll probably keep doing it like this maybe I'll buy like a little bottle off Amazon like a clear one um, to put my aloe vera gel in but yeah oh my gosh so next week I'm going to North Carolina my grandpa lives out there and I'm just really excited you guys I'll take you guys along with me I'm very excited because it's it's like kind of like summer there it's not gonna it's not gonna be cold yet so it's gonna be kind of hot and humid so I'm really excited I'll be able to go outside um, and I'm just excited. I'm going to do meditations outside, hopefully. And I'll just ground myself in the nature. I'm really excited. We're going to be also going to the beach. Like Wilmington. I don't know if you guys are from North Carolina. but Or familiar with it. The Outer Banks. Oh my gosh, I love that show. I'm going to the Outer Banks. But um, I'm just really excited to be doing that i'm just super lucky i get to go experience that we're gonna go look around at things i love north carolina it's probably one of the fa my favorite states i visited and yeah so i'll make lots of videos about that um i'm really excited for that i think yeah we leave next week on the 24th of september leaving from LAX. I'm really excited. It's going to be so fun. My grandpa lives in the cutest town ever. It's this cute little town and it's so historical. There's like, it's so cute. Last time we went last year in like November, it was so cute. I loved it there. Um, but yeah, super excited for that. My camping trip. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I was supposed to go on a camping trip on the weekend and it got canceled because of the fires um it's been really smoky here where i live but today's actually a really clear day um it was really it's really nice outside but one of the days like three days ago it was just orange like the sky like it was like a gloomy day but the clouds were orange because of the, the fires all, not even just in California, just like in the West Coast, in Oregon. And it's just really bad. It sucks. It's so sad. All the poor animals, all the people that have to evacuate, it's just really sad. Um, yeah. But yesterday, I had a good day. Um, I need to meditate after my makeup routine. I like to try and meditate three times a day or more. Um, I meditate in the morning time and then I meditate, um, try to meditate like either after lunch or before lunch. And then, um, I like to do it at nighttime before I go to bed. 
it's just really calming and relaxing and I feel like it just it just helps you it like grounds you or something it makes me really happy yesterday I went to my Nana's house and it was really nice to hang out over there um, we went to the whole weedery got some crystals um, I didn't buy any crystals my mom and her did um, I helped them pick out which ones would be good for them like um, Amazonite, rose quartz, stuff like that. And my grandma bought me this cute purse. I will show you guys. Because after my makeup routine, I'm going downstairs, gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna meditate. And, um, and then I'm going, hopefully, hopefully. If I do, I'll make a video about it. But I'm gonna go to a plant nursery to buy some plants because I love my plants. And I really want to grow in her a herb garden. Um, that's on my list um, for my spiritual awakening. I feel like herbs really make a difference in your life. From articles I've read and videos I've watched, I'm really excited to start off. I'm just going to start off with the basics like rosemary, lavender mint and thyme i just feel like it'd be great to have your own because i have tea sometimes but it's like little pouches i just feel like it'd be better if i made it myself and just be so beneficial for my health um really excited about hopefully i can do it um i've been able to keep my plants in my room alive for almost like like six months and that's good because before when we used to get plants like for some reason they would just die maybe because i was younger and i just didn't know how to take care of plants but i actually did my research and i've been taking care of my little plant babies i love my plant babies and my everything to me they're so cute and like i don't know i feel like it's like a pet so last night i started um to make my manifestation journal I watched a video, oh my gosh, my favorite YouTuber, go check her channel out, she's amazing, uh, Earth Angel Gemini, she inspired me so much, she inspired me to even make a YouTube channel, she's great, she's so, she's such a good, like, teacher about spiritual stuff, um, but she's amazing. Um, but anyways, I went through her old videos, and she teaches how she makes it, so I decided to try and make it, like, similar, but of course, make it to how you want it, like, for you. So I put my own little pictures in there, I did a little scrapbook, and today I'm going to sit down, sage, because I can open the windows today, because there's no smoke, um, and it's not, I don't think it's that hot, but if it's hot, it's okay, I need to sage my room to purify the air. Um, I'm gonna sit down, do a little manifestation journaling. Really excited for that. Because last night I was on Pinterest looking for like little notes and stuff. Because that's, I'm very, okay, I was on Pinterest because I'm still very new to all of this um, spiritual awakening journey. And I just need, I, there's so much information. So I feel like the best thing for me to do is to go on Pinterest, go on the Gaia Network. If you guys are not familiar with that, it's like, it's kind of like Netflix, but for like spiritual stuff. And it's a website and you can just learn a lot of things on there, like about chakras, etc. And um, so I was on Pinterest last night looking at, because I want to start a herb garden or herb, herb, I don't know, I'm going to say herb, a herb garden. And I was like, it was like, it said how to know if you were like a witch in a past life. And it was everything I did when I was little. It was like, you make potions out of anything. Um, it said all these things, like you love nature. Just all these things, okay, that are related to like witchy, hippie stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's me. That's me. Because I used to have, I used to like make outside, I had my own little cauldron and I had my little potions with my dried, 
plants and it was just so much fun to do when I was younger and yeah I was like I had to have been a witch in another life because even my friends with my oils they think I'm crazy they're like you're a witch you're a witch or like when I see spirits they're like you're, you're a witch oh my god but now they'll really think I'm a witch because I've gotten into my spirituality more and I'm not as like I open that door up and I'm really happy because I feel like I'm glad I opened it up now instead of way later in life because now I, ha I can learn it and then when I get old like it takes time so hopefully it'll just be better later on and I can start teaching people I really feel like I'm a healer um, or even a medium because I can see spirits and I'm just really excited to keep going on with my journey and learning more. Um, lots of new videos will be coming out soon. I'm definitely going to bring you guys along when I make my garden. Um, it's going to be really fun. And soon I'm going to do a video on my journals because I'm really proud of my journals. They're really cute. Um, I take a lot of time and effort to do it. I do so much research. Um, I've learned about so far the angelic realm spirit guides the moon phases and what they mean and rituals you can do and now i'm learning about herb herbs or er, after herbs it's gonna be auras because i was reading my book it's called it's called the anatomy of spirit and i've been reading it for a while um but as soon as i opened that book she talked about auras about just an energy field around you and i was like hmm and I kind of zoned out and I could see energy around people like I was at my boyfriend's house and I could see around him he was glowing yellow and I was like that's weird so then I looked at his brother and he was glowing orange and I was like okay I was like maybe this is their aura and when you find things out like that don't discourage yourself don't be like I'm just crazy because that's your ego and you need to debunk your ego because you could be seeing things and you're just thinking you're crazy. Um, don't think that. You have to think the opposite and be like, that is what it is. Because it'll just help you so much and you'll just feel so happy. And you'll end up learning about it and getting stronger with that ability. So that's my little makeup routine. It's just blush, mascara, highlighter, all over a gel, and lip gloss. I love lip gloss. And so... I'm just going to start off my day now. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, I'm going to have a little snack, meditate, then hopefully go to the plant nursery. So thank you so much for watching and doing a little chit chat. Get ready with me. I had a lot of fun filming this little video. Maybe I'll do more. Maybe do face masks and talk about things. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week. So hit that notification bell so you can know when I post. Have the best day ever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.